Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video session, I will cover how you will write a main menu in Python and how you will write functions that return a value. Let's start the lecture. Write a program that shows the main menu to perform different mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and repeat it until the user wants. Write these operations in different functions and return the value from where they call. By using this program, I will show you how you will create a main menu and how you will call different functions into main menu. Now how it will display the output? First it should ask enter the first value and you will enter the value 25. Now it will ask enter the second value. Second value, suppose you are entering 10, then it should display four options. Number one is for addition, number two is for subtraction, number three is for multiplication, and four is for division. You can enter any one from option number one to option number four. You can enter any choice. Okay, if you will enter more than four, mean five, and so on, it will show invalid input. Now enter your choice. Now suppose you are entering choice number 3. In choice number 3, it should display the multiplication of A and B. Suppose value of A is 25 and value B is 10. It will show 250. Multiplication equal to 250. Once it will perform required operation, then it will display do you want to proceed it again? If user will enter yes, then your program should be proceed again. Suppose you are entering yes. Now in this case, it will ask again the value for enter the first value. Suppose now this time you are entering 30. Enter the second value. Second value is 20. Same way it will display four options. And this time you have selected option number one. In case of option number one, it will show the addition. Addition equal to 30 plus 20 equal to 50. And it will again display this message. Do you want to proceed again? If you will say yes, it should display this process again. And if user will enter no, then it stop the program. Now, in my case, now this time I am entering N. Now, here I am trying to give the concept how function is working. Okay. Suppose you have written one function name is add and it takes two parameters A and B and it will return the addition of A and B. I have mapped this function into the on right side. Same way at a comma b return a plus b. When I will call this function, then I will show the working of this function. Same way I have defined another function with the name of sub and it also takes two parameters a and b and it will return a minus b. Now this is the third function, function name is mul, it also takes two parameters a and b and it will return multiplication of a and b. Next it will ask you enter the choice, it will give the control to the user, user will enter the choice and what number user will store that will that will be stored into the variable choice enter your choice now suppose you are entering one okay in case of one it will check the condition if choice equal equal to one then in this case choice is true when choice is true when this condition is true then it will execute this set of statement and what i have written in this set of statement i have written answer equal to add 3 comma 5 according to the rule 
first of all it will solve to the right side and right side is a function right side contains a function function name is add and they are passing parameters 3 and 5 they are giving these value 3 and 5 as a parameter and what happened now i want to show you the concept of add the fun you are passing value 3 and 5 in function add 3 will received by the first parameters that is defining into the function add it may be as a maybe b maybe any variable name first value received by the first parameter 3 will received by a and 5 will received by b after this it will enter into the body of this addition function and what i have written in addition body value of a and value of b it will give you addition 3 plus 5 it will give you 8 after this it will return to the same place now in this place answer equal to 8 okay and this function has return 8 now answer will get value of 8 now answer will get value of 8 next statement is print addition equal to answer and addition equal to answer and answer contains the value of 8 in this way it will shows the value that is returned by add function okay in this case value is 8 same way it will call to different function like subtraction multiplication and so on let's start the program function for addition here i will write define add and it takes two value a comma b and what is the definition of this function now i am defining the body of this function and what i will write here i will write return a plus b okay in this case i am using only one line okay that is return a plus b okay you can write many lines according to the requirement of the function so i am defining second function with the name of sub this is sub subtraction a comma b these are the parameters argument return a minus b now third function with the name of mul a comma b and what it will give it will return a multiplication b definition of division and it also contains two parameters with the name of a and b and it will return a divisible by b okay now i have defined these four functions okay now i will write what my program will start how my program will start first of all it will ask me to enter the value of a this is variable name is suppose first equal to e value input enter the first number or you can write enter the value of a enter the value of a equal to second equal to e value input enter the second value enter the value of b equal to this is in variable second so after this they have displayed me these two values after this it should show me the number of options choices okay for that purpose i just i will print that options print i'm giving this space this space is enough one for addition okay i will copy paste this four time Control C and Control V and here I will change the number 2, 3, 4, 2 is for the subtraction, 3 is for the multiplication, multiplication and 4 is for the division. This is just only messages. These are 4 messages. Where user will enter the choice? So in this case, I am getting variable choice. will get value from input. I will take E value enter your choice one to four okay enter your choice one to four enter your choice one to four and here i will check the choice what choice contains if choice equal equal to one then you will get answer answer is a variable that will receive value that is returned by the function answer equal to variable name is addition and you are passing which value you are passing suppose this is first comma second you are passing these values 
you are passing these values these parameters this argument l if answer equal to addition where answer will be kept answer will be kept into the variable answer no you will display print addition equal to which variable name is there answer after this you will check another condition if choice equal equal to 2 then answer answer will get value from subtraction by using these parameters first and second same way control c control v this i will write for the multiplication multiplication and this is for the division control c control v here is also control v after this i will change the messages in choice number two subtraction first and value is first parameter you are passing first and second and this message should be subtraction subtraction equal to answer is in variable answer choice equal to three if choice equal equal to three then you want to call to multiplication and here you will change the message to multiplication multiplication equal to answer and this is the choice number four and function name is div first comma second these are the parameters addition equal to now here i will write division equal to division equal to answer on if user will enter abnormal value abnormal value means more than four then it will show print invalid input this is message invalid input okay now i want to run this program i want to show you what will be the output enter the value of a value of a is 5 value of b is 2 what i want to do 1 for addition 2 for subtraction 3 for multiplication 4 for division i want to perform multiplication i will enter 3 when i will enter 3 it shows me multiplication equal to 10 now this program is stopped now but i don't want to stop it it will shows me the message do you want to proceed it again if i want to proceed if i will press yes then it will proceed it again and if i will press no or any other key then program should be stopped now what i will write for that purpose i will apply here loop okay while loop it means it will move until the con given condition is true what is the given condition is true suppose you have taken one variable ch and in that ch by default you have entered y yes okay and here i am writing while choice equal equal to this choice means ch choice equal equal to in double quote maybe user will enter capital y or maybe user will enter small y okay that's why i am i'm keeping both capital y and small y colon and this all statement will become the body of the while loop just i will press tab okay now all these statement from line number 20 to 33 these statement will become or will move to the body of the while loop okay now i have applied a loop you know before in the loop body of the loop we will enter the updated value of the while loop okay otherwise loop will not be stopped now what i will do in this condition in place of if else in the same line of if else if elif and else what i will write i will get a new value of the choice i will ask input do you want to proceed it again write yes or no okay write it yes and no and that will store into variable ch and ch again it will check from the while loop if it is true okay i will not write here sorry i will not write on line number 19 i will write this state this statement control x i will write here i will write 18 19 control x to line number 10 line number 10 and this one is also a part of the loop what i will do i will select this one and give the tab now ch by default value is y it will check the condition if ch equal equal to y or ch equal 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 to small y then it will execute again now i want to run it enter the value of a 25 enter the value of b 30 what you want addition yes addition equal to 55 do you want to proceed it again 
now i am going to press y yes now it will ask me again enter the value of a value a if is a is 5 enter the value of b value of b is 6 now this time i want to perform multiplication number 3 number 3 the answer of multiplication equal to 30 it will ask me again do you want to proceed it again if you will press yes it will move it again it will proceed it again it it will run it again okay and when you will press no then it will stop this is a complete program you can see these are the function defining okay this is for the by default i have written ch equal to y because by using this statement my program my control will enter into the body of the loop otherwise body of the condition will not be true okay this is only first time to enter into the loop after this they will ask me value these are the messages after this i have written the choice and i am calling to the function okay and here i will get the updated value of choice ch okay this is my complete program student if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you and jazakallah khair